So I didn't show this, but all I did was tape off the tail like this and spray it black. And it was really easy and all straight lines, so I didn't bother showing you. But this is more interesting. So I took, made a white field with a cross on it based on a little post-it note tracing I took with the fuselage. This is just approximate. Uh, and I'm going to make my own mask. So I took some pieces of that Tamiya tape and put it down to overlap. Them. And then I tape, just with a little scotch tape, the uh, uh, white field with the cross on it over. And I start by very carefully cutting out the black cross. So I cut out the straight edges first. And just very carefully, a couple passes. This, this is a brand new X-Acto blade. Makes things much easier. I'm making sure I get to the very end of these things. Take your time. And then I freehand the curved, slightly curved edges. And just very carefully go to each end, each tip. And uh, take some practice. Once you do it a little bit, it becomes much easier. But it isn't, it is not easy to do. You gotta go real slow and you'll probably make lots of mistakes when you first start. Um, then I pulled off that piece and then I cut around the outside edge. That little notch there is going to be where the stabilizer butts up against the stabilizer. Um, you'll see that when I put it on. But then I cut out the edge of the white field. Now, in retrospect, what I should have done is just mask off the area on the fuselage, paint it black, and then put a black cross made out of tape uh, in the middle yellow tape and then spray white and it would have and then pull that off been much easier the way i did it here was kind of stupid uh, but going through and showing i thought it was a good idea at the time but you had to very carefully pull out the cross and then you pull off the edge frames and then you end up with a uh white frame that'll you know the 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 tape will keep that frame white and then the clear part, of course, where the cross is. You can spray that black, and um, you'll have your black cross. Um, I'll show you a better way to do these, like I said, when I do the rudder, it turns out, because this was very difficult. Notice you got to pull up very carefully, and it's easy to distort, and then you have to very carefully add it. Um, you have to the approximate size it's supposed to be, you know, based on the white field I left on the fuselage, but it isn't perfect by any means. And you gotta eyeball the cross um, as best you can. It's got to be vertical. It's got to be perpendicular to things. Um, and so it just takes a lot of, in my case, trial and error. But once you got it pretty good, you got to make sure it's all tucked down. You got to make sure all the edges are nice and uh, and, and solid. And see, you can adjust it a little bit here and there. But you got to be careful because the tape will distort and stretch. And you'll end up with a, a wonky cross. But it's just a lot of piddling and fiddling. And you finally get it to where you like it. And then you start masking off all the other areas. So what you're going to do is spray that black. And the airbrush is very good. But you still got to be careful with splatter. So once those edges are all down, you go back and you tape it off. All the edges, however you, whatever makes sense to you. Mostly I'm using this Tamiya yellow tape, but sometimes I use the post-it um, tape too. But uh, you just, when in doubt, mask it, because you never want to do this and then end up, believe me, I've been there many times where something oversprays you didn't think it could overspray. That'll never happen. Dimes to donuts, it'll happen. So, you know, when in doubt, cover it up, even if it looks silly. Now I'm just kind of out at the bench now with my paints, making sure it's where it's supposed to be. And I'll pour in my black and uh, go ahead and give it a spray. I've taken off the tip of the airbrush like before, because that does give me a finer area to spray. And you just start spraying. And again, gentle, you know, little bits at a time. And I'm also trying to make sure the airbrush is sort of like Oh, you know, don't spray at an angle over the cuts. You want it to spray kind of straight on all the cuts so that the the paint does not go underneath the mask. It shouldn't, but you want a nice clean edge. You know, don't spray at an angle because it might it might come up through the edges if you're not careful. 
So if you kind of go just perpendicular, the airbrush is shooting straight down here, essentially. And you just keep doing this until it's right, until you get everything covered. And it's nice and uh, nice and opaque black, like the tails turned out. Now, what I decided to do with the, this, I tried making a mask like I did before, and it was dumb. So this is what I should have done with the white pieces on the fuselage. Spray them black instead, and then um, come back and paint them, and I'll show you. Now here, I'm just taking off the masking, and I show this because, notice, I try to take it off very carefully. You don't just rip it off, because when you do that, there's a higher probability you're going to pull off the paint underneath, even though you've been, it's been drying for a day or two. Uh, the magic, though, is when you pull off that little mask, you end up with a really nice, clean, straight, neat marking. Um, now, and again, if you mess up, it's a pain, but you can go back and fix it. You just respray white and start over. Or like I said, what I would do is respray spray black and then put a, a, a cross down, a tape cross on the black, and then spray everything else white, which would be easier. But I'm super pleased that turned out. So this is what I mean. This is what I should have done. Paint it black and then spray it white. You know, the rule of thumb is you start with the light color and then go the dark color. That's the beauty of airbrushing. You don't have to do that. White will go over black. And so this made the masking much easier. Putting a little cross down is easier than putting a huge frame. It worked great. Very delicately pull off your mask. Um, in this case, I was being careful, but I still scraped off some, some black. So on one side of the rudder, I'm going to have to go back and do a little touch-up with a brush. But it'll, be, it'll, it'll work. But again, I'm showing this just to show you how delicate you have to be. You very carefully pull things off, and you end up with a really nicely marked flying surface there. Look at that. And here it is, ready to go to the next step. I like it.